Alright, today on the ice we're going to get Ben Craft out and we're going to talk about an issue that a subscriber had a question about. We showed a drill last week in last issue of the Goalie School YouTube channel where we had a pass thrown diagonal to the back door. This guy collapsed in and corked a one-timer right on the net. Goalie had to get right over there to play that. Now the question the guy had was what do you do to stop your slide? Because when you push over the guy decides to keep it and cuts back and you slide way out of the net he's going to have an empty net tap in so today we're going to show you how to use that lead skate as a break to stop it where you need to go another critical read you have to have beside the technical skill of being able to stop your slide is understanding the dynamics first of all there's something called the royal road here and anytime the pass crosses from one side to the other it's going to be very dangerous for the goaltender. Save percentage drops precipitously when it crosses that royal road. So when you see this play develop, you're going to intelligently anticipate this pass. You're going to know is the guy lefty or righty, and you'll know whether he's going to be likely one-timing it. If he's got good defensive pressure and he's pinched off and he gets one in his wheelhouse, he's likely going to be shooting it. Now if he's got no front net support to battle with, and it's not a good pass, and he knows you're over there sliding, then he's likely to cut it in. So a smart goaltender is going to have to understand the situation. Sometimes a push over and slide to take the one-timer is likely if it's in his wheelhouse and he's got no ability to cut back across the Royal Road. But if he's wide open, he doesn't get a pass he likes, he sees you sliding, he's likely going to be able to cut it back. So you have to read the situation and also have the built-in skill to stop a slide halfway in progress. We're going to work on that today out on the ice with Kraft. All right, Crafty, we had a, a subscriber reach out to me last week and they wanted to know on this play, this drill that we had when we do a diagonal feed to the back door, how you can stop your slide. Now, the first thing we want to talk about is, does the guy get the pass where he wants it? So let's demonstrate a couple of these. We're going to try to put it right where Tommy needs it and he's going to one-time it. So here we go. Nice. Let's do three more like that. Make sure you're taking that quick look over there, Crafty, as he's coming in. Figure out his hand, figure out his hand. As if it's a bad pass where he can't one-time it, and the better players have a much bigger wheelhouse. They can take a bad pass and make a good pass. But if he's got a truly bad pass that's rattling way out in front of him, way, or way behind him, then you got to get that lead skate breakout to try to stop so you don't overslide it because he's going to catch this pass and cut it back to the middle if it's a crappy pass. Here we go. Wait a second. Let's keep repeating that exact same thing you just did. Okay, last one. Great break stop. Now, all right, now we got going something here, Crafty, called front net support. So suppose you had a defenseman laying down on this play, sliding on his belly. He's not going to be able to cut it back across here. So you can slide, not have to worry about putting that brake on. But clearly, you don't want to overslide it. So let's try a couple here. Just shoot it when you get it, Tommy. And last one. Let's do the last one. All right, now we're going to change it ever so slightly. Now we're going to put a physical barrier up here. And I like to do this sometimes with goalies that are over sliders. So you're going to come in on the same line right through here, Tommy. But this is going to stop you from sliding past this. So when you start up here, 
on angle on me and you slide over. I want you to try to make the save on Tommy without getting your body into this one. So got to get things stopped with that lead skate before you get into that. Let's try four more, four or five more. Here we go, Tommy. Don't slide into it, don't hit it. Nice. Three more. Two more. Stay a little wider, just inside that red one. Last one. Here we go. Nice. And you didn't touch that thing at all. Ben, here's what we got. A little soft front net rebound. I'm gonna pump a puck in from over here. I'm gonna hit this, I want you to butterfly simulate like it came through traffic. Now all of a sudden we're gonna have one pop out to here. But we gotta have a good lateral response to play this rebound. Oh, bad day today, Tom. We're gonna do a little bit of a different angle on it now. And that's another little variation we can do. Same exact thing though, I want you to go down on it. Activate, activate that right foot. Four more. Nice save, crafty, nice. boy. three more. Two more. We'll take that one. We'll take that one. Last one. One more, we can't finish on a goal. We gotta finish with a save. All right, good work today, kiddo. Excellent.